troubleshooting the 909. Two common issues you may encounter are an assembly that spits water from the relief valve vent periodically, or an assembly that drips continually from the relief valve vent. When troubleshooting an assembly with a relief valve that is discharging water, no special tools are required. All you will need is a standard screwdriver and to take a few simple actions to determine what is causing water to be discharged from the relief valve vent. The first action you will want to perform is to close shutoff valve number two. If the discharge stops, it indicates a fouled second check with an existing back pressure condition. If it does not stop, open test cock number four to create a downstream flow. If the discharge of water from the relief valve vent becomes less or stops, it most likely indicates you have a bad first check. If the discharge of water from the relief valve vent does not stop with the number two shutoff valve closed and the number four test cock opened completely, it's most likely the relief valve. On occasion, it may be both a fouled first check and a relief valve issue. Now that you've completed the troubleshooting procedures to identify which component or components need to be serviced or replaced, you can begin to service the valve assembly. To service the assembly, you will need to take the following actions. Close shutoff valve number one. Close shutoff valve number two. It may already be closed if you just performed troubleshooting procedures. Now that you've isolated the assembly's valve body from the rest of the piping network, you need to relieve the pressure by opening test cock number two, test cock number three, and test cock number four. We will begin by removing the first check. Remove the four screws from the first check cover. Lift off the first check valve cover. The check valve inside will come out with the cover and is attached with a bayonet type locking arrangement. Remove the number two check valve by following the same procedure used to remove the number one check valve. Next, remove the relief valve by removing the four cover bolts, then remove the cover. The stainless steel adapter with O-ring attached will be free to be removed simultaneously with the removal of the cover. Pull out the relief valve assembly. Removing the seat for the relief valve on the 909, we will be using a 1 in 7 16 inch socket. Of note, the relief valve seat may be cleaned without disassembly. Holding the check valve module in both hands, rotate the assembly a quarter turn. This will disengage the disc assembly, spring and seat cover into individual components. Inspect the seat. If there are any imperfections, you will need to replace it. On the disc assembly, check for any imperfections of the silicone disc and clean or replace as necessary. Use a small screwdriver to remove the silicone disc from the holder and inspect for any tears, rips, or buried debris. O-ring should be cleaned or replaced as necessary and lightly greased with the FDA-approved silicone grease, which is also furnished with the service kit. Reassemble the check valve module in the reverse order. Service is identical for both the first and second check valve. 
The relief valve will be serviced next. First, check the O-rings on the stainless steel piston. Make sure there are no nicks, cuts, or deformities on the piston O-rings. Apply FDA lubricant to the piston O-rings and reinsert the stainless steel piston into the relief valve cover. The relief valve seat and disc may be cleaned without disassembly of the relief valve assembly. If it is determined that the relief valve diaphragm and or disc should be replaced, the relief valve module can be readily disassembled without the use of special tools. Check for any imperfections of the diaphragm itself and the disc surface. Upon completion of inspection, cleaning, and repair, reassemble the components. Add lubricant to the stem o-ring before reinstalling the relief valve into the valve body. Begin by installing the first check valve assembly and cover onto the valve body. Next, reinstall the number two check valve assembly and cover onto the valve body. Reinstall relief valve seat if removed earlier. Reinstall the relief valve. Depress the relief valve assembly into the valve body completely and carefully insert a flathead screwdriver into the air inlet side of the relief valve vent to properly align the assembly into the cylinder bore. This action will hold the relief valve in place to prevent damage to the relief valve shaft and allow you to use both hands to bolt down the cover. Once you have completed reassembly of the valve, you can test the valve's functionality and return to service.